definitely, definitely one of the most interesting, definitely one of the most interesting performances I've seen. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to ask you, what was some of the inspiration behind not only the look, but the song as well? Uh, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, our inspiration is that our, our expression is always in some kind of way to, to try to make this uh, world a better place for everybody. And thus, uh, and our uh, little stupid but very clever song is, is uh, in some kind of uh, way to be anti-war song because we believe and we are sure that there is no winner in the wars. Everybody is a victim. So please stop fucking wars anywhere, anytime. Yeah? And, and I have to add that, that uh, uh, in war there is no winners. On Eurovision Song Contest there is no losers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, our, our congratulations goes to, to those uh, artists who are not get qualified. You are not the losers, you are the friends of us. And exactly. we, we thank you so much to spend the time and share the stage with you and everything. Yeah, yeah hello. Uh, how do you feel? How does it feel after six years? We are finally in finals. What does this mean to a, for a band? And uh, you know how happy you made all the Croatian uh, fans. Of course, we are happy because uh, we are qualifying uh, on on Croatian contest uh, with a really big uh, support of uh, of uh, voters and. And uh, we are proud about that, that we uh, uh, didn't uh, disappoint those Croatian people who believed to us and, and believed to that, that we can get to the grand final. And it's a great feeling, really. <laughs> now, I don't know what to add. I'm really happy about it because we are always uh, okay, we are already win. If we didn't reach the final, we already win. But it's nice to go to final, honestly. And mm -hmm. Thanks to everybody who votes for us, and it's a great thing, yeah, really. Hi, Dobrodošli. I'm Simon from Poland. Uh, we are here in the UK, which organized fantastic contests on behalf of Ukraine. But do you think, dear Croatia, that you also represent yours with your song a lot of Ukrainian, do you think they will give you support in the final with the message of your song? Thank you. I believe, the, uh, of course, uh, for now, now in final, uh, as I understand, uh, can vote uh, also in Ukrainian voters. And if Poland reached the final, also in Polish voters, uh, and, and we know that we are in Poland, have a lot of fans of our song and all of, of our story about uh, uh, this Eurovision Song Contest. And we believe, yes, yes, of course, we, uh, I, I believe we uh, are, uh, are, I don't know, I'm a little bit confused of anything, sorry. Uh, uh, on the Turkish carpet, we, we had a little tribute uh, to Ukraine with a, with a, I, I was wearing costume with a blue and yellow, which are flags of European Union, but also, also is a, a, the war of U Ukraine. Ukraine won the last year's competition and Liverpool hosting this year competition. Because of that, it can be organized in Ukraine and we are sad about it. And, that is our little tribute to support to Ukraine win this uh, last year and, and support to Ukraine people and all those bad things which they happen to, to them these bad days. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be the first Croatian act to qualify since 2017? Uh, we are proud about it. There, there's a, uh, several times was, uh, when Croatia reached 11th place. 
you know that hmm, 11th is always close to the 10. But <laughs> of course we are happy about that. And of course we are happy that, that uh, they, uh, this evening was, we were first <laughs> Uh, announced by uh, as a qualifiers. Fresh yeah. off. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a great feeling. We don't have to ask and we passed. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, you so can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, right, we're going to move on to our next one. Croatia, everyone. Yeah, thank you.